Welcome to the third episode of Live.withcode.uk. Uh, well done to everyone who took part in the activities last week where we created a quiz together in Python. Um, this week we're going to be working on abstraction, creating some abstract art in Python. Um, but first the competition winners um, from last week. Thank you to Mr. Tate from All Saints School who judged the competition. Well done to everyone who sent in your correctly debugged competition entries. Um, so particular well done to Jacob and Dylan and Alex. Uh, you'll be the first to receive some live with code.uk branded headphones. I'll send those out to you as soon as I can. Um, this week we're going to create some abstract art together. So I saw this tweet this week from Debugging CS. Thank you for posting this. Um, it has some abstract versions of some um, game characters or cartoon characters, for example Luigi and Mario, or this first one is the Simpsons family. Um, so abstraction just means hiding unnecessary detail to focus on the most important thing. So most of these cartoon characters are recognisable. You should be able to see Batman in here. I'll share a link to this so you can try and work through all 20 of these if you can. Um, but abstraction is a core concept in computer science. It means hiding unnecessary detail in order to focus on the most important points, the most important details to help solving a problem, to make a problem easier to solve. So the cartoon characters themselves are an abstraction of what they might look like in real life, which looks pretty terrifying. Um, but when we uh, abstract them even more down to a really simplified version, that's the kind of graphics that we're going to be creating today. So um, in Python, we're going to make something a little bit like this that just draws a cartoon character. Um, I'll work through in the live coding session how to draw Homer with his boots and trousers and shirt and face. Um, I won't go through all of Marge. I'll leave that as um, part of the challenge for you to work through. So let's get started together. First of all, we're going to import the turtle um, module so we can draw some graphics in Python. Then we create a new drawing object called T. We go inside the turtle module, create a new instance of the turtle class that we can use for drawing. Um, and then we can just draw by moving that turtle forwards along the screen. So this is a function. Um, we need to tell the turtle how far to move forwards. So let's say 100. Um, sorry, it doesn't know how to move forwards. It knows how to move forward. Um, so if we say that 100 pixels is about the right sort of width for, um, for Homer, um, what we want to do next is rotate the turtle round by 90 degrees, a right angle, uh, and move forward um, just a small amount for Homer's boots. Great. OK, so we could... Um, copy and paste this code. We've got halfway round a rectangle so far. It would work to copy and paste it, I hope. Let's see. But it's not going to be the most efficient. Um, we want instead to just repeat this twice. So let's say for i in range 2, um, which will mean it's going to repeat twice. And then all of this code we're going to indent by pressing tab. So it goes halfway around the rectangle twice to go all the way around. Great, okay, so Homer's boots are grey. Um, let's change the fill colour of the turtle. Let's say fill colour, spelt the American way, and then grey, spelt the American way, um, which will change the inside of the turtle, um, but it won't actually fill it in until we say begin fill. Um, and then a common mistake is to forget to actually end fill after we've drawn the shape, so t.end fill. All right, so what we want to do next is draw, um, let's see what comes next, uh, draw Homer's trousers or pants if you're American. Um, so we could copy and paste all of this um, so that we then have some blue trousers. So that's the width. This is going to be the height. Maybe the height of the trousers is going to be a bit um, higher. But again, we want our code to be more efficient and we want the trousers to be in the right place. So rather than copying and pasting all of this code, we're going to say, wouldn't it be nice if we could say any colour here, spelt the British way, uh, and any rectangle with any height. If we try and run it, we haven't got a variable called colour. It doesn't exist yet, and we haven't got one for height yet either. Um, but we could make a, a procedure that does our drawing of a rectangle for us. So let's define one. So if we define um, some reusable code, a procedure, something that does something useful that we can repeat as many times as we like, we'll give it a name. And then we need to say this code belongs to this procedure. So no errors, but it doesn't do anything yet. We've told Python how to draw a rectangle. We haven't actually said go and actually draw it. 
Now we have told it to draw it, but we haven't said what color to draw it with. So the rectangle needs to know what color and what height. And now when we try and call it, um, we haven't said what color to draw his shoes. So let's say gray and 20. So the first item here is the first parameter, the color. The second item here is the second parameter height, and we've drawn our rectangle. So this is um, an example of abstract art. We're hiding unnecessary detail to focus on the most important things, but it's also an, an example of abstraction in code. This tells Python how to draw a rectangle, but once we've done that, we don't really care how rect works. We can just draw as many rectangles as we like um, in whatever colors we like. We've hidden the unnecessary detail of how it works, and we're just interested in what it does. So we draw the boots, uh, we're gonna draw the trousers, but we need to make sure the trousers go in the right place. So for this, before we start drawing, we're gonna lift the pen up. We're going to um, rotate the turtle 90 degrees left, so it's pointing upwards. Um, so left 90 degrees. We're gonna move forwards by, oops, forwards by the height of the rectangle we want to draw. Um, and then we need to make sure we're facing in the, the right direction again. So we're gonna turn around and right angle uh, clockwise. Um, and then we must remember to put the pen back down again. So this time we move to the right place, we draw a rectangle, we move to the right place, we draw the next one. Um, so hopefully we should be able to draw the rest of our um, character. Um, so next is gonna be a white shirt and then a neck um, and then a beard and then the face. Fab, so let's have a look. Um, so we need a shirt in white, uh, which is gonna be a similar sort of height. We need a chin in Simpsons yellow, maybe only five pixels this time. Um, let's go for a beard color, um, maybe 10 pixels. And then the rest of the head, which is gonna be yellow, uh, maybe 30, we'll just guess and see. So this point, you're probably gonna get bored of watching the turtle. Um, so we're gonna speed it up, t dot speed zero. You'd think zero would be the slowest speed, but actually speed of zero tries to draw it as fast as possibly, as, as you possibly can. So that's okay, but it'd be nice if Homer was down a bit in the screen and a bit further to the left, so there's space for, um, for Marge. Um, so let's just t dot pen up, lift the pen up, um, t dot go to to teleport now zero dot zero sorry zero comma zero is the middle of our canvas if we want to go over here we need to change the x coordinate to a negative number and the y coordinate to a negative number great okay so we've drawn homer um, if you want to draw marge um, we'll just uh, copy and paste that code but move to a different position. So let's say uh, we'll go to the x-coordinate of about 20. Um, and we're gonna have two homers next to each other. Um, you, um, let's see, Marge's shoes, I can't really see here. They're kind of orange in this picture. Um, so let's have a rectangle that is orange. Um, and they're a little bit taller than Homer's boots because they've got heels. Let's go for 30. Now, if you come across, um, that's probably a bit too high, I suppose. Maybe I should make Homer's a little bit smaller. Uh, we'll go for Marge's legs yellow. Um, I don't know, I'm just guessing. If you come across something you're not really sure of the color for, for example, Marge's dress is kind of a tealy green, um, I'd be surprised if Python knew what tealy um, green was. Let's have a look. Um, no, it's just done it as black. Um, so just search for HTML color picker, choose any color that you like, um, and copy and paste the hex code, and you can put that in instead. Make sure that you put the hash in front. Now the first two characters are the amount of red, the next two characters of hex are the amount of green light, and then the last two are the amount of um, blue light. So you can define um, any color that you like. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna um, put some challenges in for you to work through. Remember the links to um, all of these challenges are in the description and on live.withcode.uk. Um, so first of all, we'll say finish drawing um, Marge Simpson. Um, second, you could adapt the codes um, so that Marge is thinner than 
um, uh, I forgot his name, Homer Simpson. Um, now this is a bit more challenging because in this wrecked procedure here that we reuse for both Homer and Marge, um, they both have the same width. So you're going to need to specify width as a parameter here and have a different width for Homer as you do for Marge. Um, and then number three, draw any cartoon character of your choice. Fab. Um, so that's the end of the live coding session. I will save this and share the link with you. Um, remember, there will be a link to the code itself that you can tweak and try. You can type out um, the code to see to improve your typing speed, even if you don't understand the Python. That's a nice, easy one for you to do. You can work through the key concepts that you might potentially get tested in in an exam, um, or you could develop your skills a little bit further um, with a sequence in Python. Um, there's no debugging competition this week, but I will post a link on the web page um, to try out uh, a new feature. Uh, for tracking um, students' progress as you work through. Um, so it will track the scores of your typing speed um, and of a kind of a keywords activity this week. Um, teachers, if you want to work out how to track your students in individual groups, please do get in touch. I'll put a link on the web page as well. I'm looking for teachers um, who are willing to try out that feature um, and track your students. Um, fab, so thanks ever so much for, for watching. Find the links in the description underneath the video um, and I will see you next week.